What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery video. And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be returning to one of our all time favorite mods known as the Shatterblade. And I know many of you guys are probably gonna be like, man, how many videos is he gonna make about this Shatterblade? Well, the biggest thing is, is like, if there's anything new that we can apply to using the Shatterblade, of course I'm gonna wanna use it. Because the sole fact, like, this is one of my all-time favorite mods. And having the opportunity to try so many different things with it is what makes this so enjoyable to try. So the question is, what exactly are we gonna be doing with the Shatterblade today? Well, there's been a recent mod that came out known as the Super Glue mod. It's super weird, I know, but the one thing about it that is really, really awesome is we can go ahead and we can glue the weapons together. But it doesn't stop there, because if we go and use our spell button, it applies to both of the weapons because it's being wielded by this hand. So in theory, we should be able to connect a ton of different Shatter Blades to one ultimate weapon. This is going to be a really, really cool video that I'm super excited about. So if you guys do end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on some more Blade and Sorcerer VR, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and craft the ultimate blade within Blade and Sorcery. God, that is so sick. All right, guys, welcome back, and here we are on the canyon map. It feels so good to be back on this map because we weren't actually able to really make any videos on here for quite a while because I don't know what happened with the new update, but I wasn't able to, like, spawn enemies, and basically everything on this map was unusable. Like, if you can't spawn the enemies, like, what are you gonna do on Blade and Sorcery? So, unfortunately enough, we had to take a little bit of a break from playing on Canyon, but now we're back, everything's working smooth, and we're feeling good. But, before we do anything, we gotta go and run back over to the book, because there's a little sum sum that we gotta spawn in. And I'm sure you guys already know, we gotta go and spawn ourselves a few Shatter Blades. So let's go and throw these on. I gotta go and actually get these things spawn in. To start this video off, I think we're gonna go with only two Shatter Blades, because I gotta just see how the game actually performs while trying to do this. And there's also something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video. There's actually a super glue and there's a weak glue. And if we use the weak glue, you guys can see here, it kinda just makes it have different physics to it. So like, we can still play around using the Shadow Blade with the weak glue, but we're gonna have a better time with the uh, the strong one, or like the, the super glue, I guess. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh God, oh God, what has happened to my hand? I'm just gonna, okay, it's got a mind of its own. Shadow Blade, what have you done? What have you become? <laughs> I can't even grab that thing. All right, so after uh, that happened, I think we're just gonna go and we're gonna just try to not use the other spell cast with this weapon. Because I've realized using the Shatter Blade with the little shield spawn thing absolutely breaks the weapon. So we're not gonna do that again this time. But what we will do is we should actually make these face the same way. Because I feel like just like aesthetically wise and for our slices, it might work just a bit better. But we can actually still holster it that way too. What? You can actually holster the weapon that way. Oh, that's crazy. And you know what? I think to start this off too, I don't necessarily want these to not be elemental. So we got to throw something on it, man. I mean, that's the beauty of the Shatter Blade is having it become the magic elemental blade. So we're going to go and make this one fire. I'm gonna say for the next one, maybe we'll go and throw on gravity. I think that'd be kind of a cool mix between the two. So we'll have one that has the gravity spell, and we'll have the other with fire. And then you know what? If this actually performs somewhat decent, then we can maybe go and throw on a lightning one and have three of the main base spells from Blade and Sorcery on the Shatter Blades. Oh god, yeah, okay. You definitely feel the uh you feel the leg with this one. Do you guys see my frame rate right now? That is wild. I mean, it looks awesome, but my frames are dying. Oh, no. <laughs> I made a mistake, guys. <laughs> now every time that I, like... Oh, there we go. Now we should be able to get them. Perfect. For some reason, I couldn't get both of the blades to work there, but... Okay. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I flying like this? 
What is happening to my arm? The gravity spells making me move. I'm not even doing this. Okay, are we good? Okay, we are not good. I, I have the power of flight now, I guess. I guess enchanting two shatter blades gives you the power of flight. I've severely broken the game. Like, severely broken. I can't even get back out of slow motion. Oh, no. No. Get me back to the map. Dude. This went horribly wrong. So I see why the shatter blade was developed to only be wielded as one because this is what happens to your game, man. Like, what is with my arm? And why am I flying like this? <laughs> Yo, this is... Uh, no! No! Please! Oh, okay. Yeah, um... I am just flying around the map with no control in the slightest, so... I think we gotta just... I think we might need to figure out something here. Let's just go and verse one enemy at a time because I think that's gonna be our best shot in terms of actually having this video be watchable. So, we'll see how this thing does. But literally my slices, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but I am dropping so much frames just by using that. Like, I think it's because the fire particles. Like, I don't know how to explain the looks of it, but it like gets this weird like effect on it. Okay. Like, the entire map, like, turns, like, this reddish tint. Like, it's not just, like, your normal, like, fire trail. It, like, changes everything in the map. That looks so freaking cool. Bum, bum, bum. Like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Straight ahead, if you look at the bridge, it has, like, this weird, like, red outline effect. Okay, is there any enemies? Oh, yes, we have our first victim. Hello, my friend. Oh, yes. I forget I can actually use both of these in the same time. So I literally just chopped this guy's head off using the uh, the shatter blade ability there. That's sick. Okay, where's the next guy? Oh, you're right down there, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one shatter blade wasn't enough, man. We, we had to have two. Look at that, dude. You can just, like, stab with the one end and then slice with the other. So, like, this will be huge for, like, decapitations. Let's see. Oh, do we get another one on top of the bridge? I think so. Hello, you want some of the Shatter Blade? Oh. Yeah, okay, this is unbelievably strong. Like, unbelievably. <laughs> oh, man. You just made me love this weapon even more than before. Oh. Wait, no, my telekinesis does work. As long as I don't grab that one and I grab this... I'll still be able to use telekinesis with this other end. But what I really want to see is because we did this in like one of our first Shatterblade videos. Is I want to see what this will look like if we spin it. Dude, we have to mix this with a bunch of different elements. Like, we can't just have them with just the regular gravity and the fire. Because it will look a lot better if we mix match a bunch of different spells on the blade. Like, that will really make it, like, really, really stand out. I can't even see her because, like, the smoke is blocking my view. <laughs> yes! Oh! Dude, I completely forgot I had that downloaded! Yo! They have sliceable torsos now, so I can actually slice them in half. <laughs> Dude, that is the coolest mod. Oh my god, to mix that with the shatter blade, I'm just... I'm, I'm at heaven. I, I am literally at heaven. Have you ever seen a man happier than slicing a torso in Blade and Sorcery? I don't think so. God, the slices. Just with the, the gravity trail as you go. Like, that just looks unbelievably awesome. Oh, you got a freaking fireball, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? You literally just tried to chuck a fireball at me. Like, what are you thinking? Well, now you must die. I literally picked her up with the shatter blade. You made a huge mistake, and I'm sorry to tell you, but you're about to die. <laughs> oh my god! That is ridiculous. God, dude. This just makes the blade that much better. I mean, honestly, what could be better than two shatter blades? Maybe three? Look at this beautiful freaking blade, dude. Oh my god, the control of it feels nuts with the telekinesis. Oh, that's going to be a mess. Oh, God. Is that even going to be able to, like, come back? Oh, my God. It actually works really well. Like, surprisingly, that worked incredibly well coming back together. But even just, like, spinning the blade using your arms compared to actually, like, spreading it out and using the telekinesis, like, almost looks cooler seeing the trail. 
You know what I mean? Like, you can just drag it around, and you have, like, this crazy freaking blade trail as you're, like, moving it around. All right, I need you to come back to me. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked the wrong button. Okay, I need you to come back to me, Shatterblade. Come back. Yes. Wreak havoc. Okay, I need to make sure. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen to an enemy. You are gonna get every element literally smacked on you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so mixing the lightning with gravity in the same time causes these enemies to just like spin uncontrollably. And also, if I ever hold this in front of me and swipe, that's what will cause my game to like freeze and lag. I literally go down to like 2 FPS. Do you got what I think you got? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Too much weight. Too much weight. No, 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 no. No! We're good. We're not good. We're not good. I need to just like... I need to... S no! If my head goes below the water, we die! No! Let's see. I need to go and spawn in a few more Shatter Blades. I think we gotta make like a crazy ultimate weapon. Like we've already had this with three, but now we gotta make this like a Death Star. We gotta make like the Shatter Blade Death Star variant. So what I wanna do is I also wanna enchant these with each individual spell to really, really like capture different looks to each of these blades. So let's go and throw on maybe the earth spell too. Okay, this is going to lag the living heck out of my game. So just don't be surprised when you see the game is like dying, all right? Because that's exactly what's about to happen. But this is for science. God, that earth spell is so loud. We get another elemental blade there. Oh, these blades are gonna be so sick. So let's go and grab the super glue. And I'm gonna go and throw this. Actually, I better make sure all of these are facing the same way. Okay, I'm not even gonna take the risk. We got one blade attached. Okay, we got three. We're gonna be very, very careful, dude. Because the slightest mistake, this entire blade will not work. Last blade. There's five, dude. We now have five shatter blades created here, and only one of them actually allow us to pick it up and use the telekinesis. But just look at how that thing looks, man. We got the literal Death Star for the freaking shatter blade, man. God, just look at how awesome that looks with the spin effects, too. Oh, this is gonna be a sick blade. But I feel like, I feel like we're missing one. I feel like we have to have six on it. But I gotta make sure I don't grab it, because otherwise my telekinesis will not work. So this officially will be the last blade that we need to attach this bad boy with. Let's hope to God we don't, like, break this thing. No, 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 no. Throw it on the wall. Stay. Okay, this might work. Make sure that it's facing the right way. There we go! We have finished the freaking Death Star, dude. Adding that last one really just like brings the entire thing together. I thought the five would look really awesome, but I think just having that sixth blade added just really pulled this thing together. And being able to whip it around with this little effect, like just look at how the blade actually looks with their trails, man. This is like throwing me back to like the first time I really used this Shatter Blade. Like, just learning these new abilities and seeing all these things for the first time. Like, that's literally what this feels like. Having this in the game with this, uh, with the super glue mod. With the super glue mod, man. Like, that is, that is awesome. Okay, I gotta just hold this with telekinesis and hope to God it doesn't despawn when we add some enemies in. I'm terrified, but we're gonna hope. A man can dream, right? Our blade is still good to go, man. We are good to go. I feel bad for any enemy that has to go against this. Like, literally, this is gonna be, this is gonna be horrifying. My blade is glitching. It's glitching mad. Oh no, come back. Fix Shatter Blade, fix yourself. Come on, please. Please tell me everything's gonna work. I just need it to craft itself again. Seeing all the individual pieces going too? Oh, that is sick. Now we got this bad boy right next to the enemy. Let's go and craft it back up and see what happens. So we'll bring it right back to him. We'll craft every spell back into this guy. There's no way that he's not dead, right? Did he actually survive that? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, now, now we'll try it again. Now we'll respawn it and see what happens. 
Yeah, I, I think that time, I think it definitely killed him. And now we just have a bunch of Shatterblade pieces just scattered around the map, man. Like, seeing this many pieces for the Shatterblade is, like, unbelievable. Well, other than that, guys, I think that's gonna make it for this video. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on this Shatterblade mod, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. And also, on top of that, I'm thinking about covering another one of using the Death Star against enemies the only thing was with this video was the fact like the optimization was impossible i don't know if there's any mods that can actually make the performance a little bit better in blade and sorcery but if there is anything please let me know but yeah with that guys that's gonna be it for me hope you enjoyed the video and as always keep it toasty my friends laters